Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Heather. I haven't done one of these videos in my kitchen in a minute. I'm actually about to bake soon. So there was something on my mind that I wanted to make a video about. Um, and it's about how people keep thinking that each product works differently for people. That's actually not true. Because formulas don't change. You know, they don't. Mouths are mouths. Adhesive is adhesive. Um, so I'm going to explain it in a minute, guys. But if you like my channel and my crazy butt, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Click that bell button, guys, and click all. Because then you're just going to miss shit, and that sucks. I also do a lot of shorts. If you go to my channel, if you're subscribed to me, they should be popping up on your shorts thing on your main page. But if you go to my channel, you'll see video shorts, blah, blah, blah. Click on shorts. They're all there. So have at it. Um, so I want to explain myself. So don't be coming at me, people. I've been doing this for a minute. And I do know adhesive is adhesive. Formulas don't change. They don't. So, normally when people first get their dentures done and all that jam, they listen to a bunch of people of what to use, even though some of it's wrong. But we're going to keep my opinion to myself. Facts today. Okay, maybe a little bit of my opinion, but facts. Um, normally people, when they do first products they stick to them they're like oh this works great blah, blah blah they don't realize that there's so much better out there so much better because I had to try every adhesive in the world because I wanted a better quality of life who the frick doesn't want a better quality of life with dentures who doesn't I do well I did I already have one I don't need adhesive thank god um I'll explain two minute why but people who watch me already know why um the whole thing is, guys, is here's the lowdown. If you want a good quality of life for your dentures, these babies got to stay in place. How to make it happen? Easily. Soft relines. Stop trying to avoid them. Stop it. You're making me have seizures and stroke out a little bit inside. Like when people are like, Heather, I don't clean my dentures. I'm like, mm, God, why? I think you guys just like to fuck with me. I'm going to be real with you because y'all watch my channel and you're like, well, Heather, I don't do... Do, do you enjoy me wigging out? Do you? Cow, no, I don't. Um, but please, 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 please. I'm begging you when denture wear to another homegirl to homegirl or homeboy. Please, soft freeliners, you need them. For the first year, year and a half of extractions is massive gum shrinkage. Dentists, please. Please start giving out correct information. I mean, some of you do. Some of you do. So don't come at me. Some of you give out great information. But others don't. Stop telling people to get permanent dentures at six months. It's just going to be another immediate denture. You're like, oh, the first six months of massive gum shrinkage. Boo boo. No, no. It's the first year, year and a half, depending on the person. Six months is just the beginning and the middle, sort of. Soft reliners, for the first year starting the day of extractions, please, for the love of Jesus, you're going to need them every month, month or two. It, it really depends because the bottom denture is more of a pain in the ass than the top. And water, gravity, yeah, just flows. And no adhesive will work in this universe if your water is getting in and food's getting in. Now people ask me, Heather, how do I stop water getting in? Soft freeliners. Say it with me. Soft freeliners. Thank you. You guys can't skip them out. People are like, oh, I use cushion grip. That's... What's the box say? Adhesive. It's not even adhesive, let's be real. But it's not a soft freeliner. Nothing replaces a soft freeliner. Nothing. Nothing in this... Nothing. I promise you. Nothing will will replace you needing a soft freeliner so if you have a warranty i always tell people when you're doing this process schedule them in advance so dentists be like oh you know i can't fit you in for three months and now you're waiting with loose denture and you can't even freaking wear them so adhesive doesn't work because water food gets in melts it and it's not going to dry and stay in place because you have water immediately coming in first of all you should be waiting 45 minutes before you eat or drink period it's not an insta glue no, it's not. I mean, I wish I would. That'd be cool. But you have to wait. It's got to dry, bro. 
It's got to dry in a wet, moist area. That's that's not fun. So you got to wait 45 minutes. It's like an hour. I tell people 45 minutes, but an hour, that'll be, that'll be good. Apparently, everybody's like dying of hunger and thirst the second they put in their adhesive. Stop doing that. You can wait an hour or 45 minutes. 45 minutes will not hurt you, I promise. But soft reliners need to fill in that extra space. There's nothing else on the market that's going to do that for you. Like, that lasts three months or so. Like, doing the actual application, the material lasts three months. Fortunately, when you have a lot of gum shrinkage, sometimes you got to do them on a more quicker basis. But if you take care of your soft reliners, you don't have to take it all out and replace it all over again. You can put more on top of it. So if you go to the dentist and like it's been a month and your soft reliner is not lifting, it looks great, you're taking care of it, they could just put some on top and do it that way. Quick, easy, get the frick out of there. Um, oh my God. Please do soft reliners. But if you have, say, the perfect or close to perfect fit of your denture, and you're trying adhesives, please don't sit there and tell me polygrip is good. Don't. I don't think you could tell anybody who's actually used multiple adhesives that polygrip is the best. See, polygrip is the OG. Its formula has never changed out of the 60, 70 years. So, that being said, polygrip is not good. People can be like, oh, Heather, polygrip powder. If you put any paste with powder, it's going to dry quicker. That's why you like it better because it dries. You should never mix two adhesives together. Chemical reaction ain't gonna be pretty. For some. Not all. But it may happen. I'm here to give you what may happen. So when people ask me, why do I like denture fit better? It's a soft silicone reliner. There's no chemicals, no taste, no nothing. You just pop it in your mouth. It feels like a freaking fluffy damn cloud on my, on my gums, which is all I cared about. If I had to use adhesive for the rest of my life, so be it. But all I cared about is I don't want to feel my denture. And I don't want the pain of wearing one. I got that with Denture Fit. So eight months into my top immediate. So I've been wearing Denture Fit now for three years and change, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me. It's something similar to that. So I've never needed to use adhesive. Never. If I was testing out products, sure. And then I dreaded that whole entire day. Um, see, the whole thing is not all Denture adhesives are terrible. Most of them are like, meh. Don't eat any ribs or corn on the cob with them. They'll get you through life. Uh, sort of. Um, fix it in an Ultramax. Man. Okay, so my first adhesive, I tried Polygrip. That shit sucked. Got rid of it quick. Tried fixing it with Scope. Now people are like, oh, I don't like the taste. Well, honey, if you're tasting it, then that means the water's coming in, which means you need a soft free liner. So you shouldn't be tasting it at all. See where I'm going with this, guys? You guys are probably like, yo, she's crazy. Yes, I am. Thank you. But, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, when I tried fix it at Ultramax, I looked up and I was like, Jesus, I know you see me and I appreciate you. Thank you for bringing this amazing product into my hands. Thank you. Have a fabulous freaking day. See, Fix it in Ultramax. I had to make videos on how to take the damn things out. People are like, well, Heather, I tried it. Great. It worked. Now I can't get them out and it's midnight. <laughs> I was like, that's the same problem. So I had to make videos. I thought I was the only one going through it. So I make videos on how to teach everybody to do that. Which if you just take warm water, put it in your mouth and go fluff them up. Oh, I just looked at my denture. <laughs> fluff it up and then push it down, push up, push down. It'll break, release, and then you could just slide it out. You could peel it off because it's dry. So if it won't come out at the end of the night, that means it's bone-ass dry in there. So that means you could just peel it right out the adhesive. Peel, I mean, you just stick your denture in water and melt in water. Problem solved. You don't have to go digging at your denture. But no, no product is created equal. That's the case. Our lives would be way better. Like, I've tried every... I, w I keep looking in the stores for new adhesives. I do. I try. I get people, like, followers that are like, Heather, you can't get it where I live here. Try this. And I'm like, girl. Shuck it. I'm like, that's your problem. <laughs> and I was like, here, try this. And I sent her fix it at Ultramax. And she was like, this is why I love you. <laughs> and I just died. 
I was like, Fix It and Ultramax is the best adhesive. Nobody has ever come to match it. Nobody. Nobody. They're like a 15 and everybody else could be like a 7. Maybe 8. But when you're at a 15 level, past 10, you're untouchable. So how it works for me is the same how it's going to work for you. But if you don't stay on top of your soft free liners, they're never going to stay in your mouth or work well for you because water's coming in and melting it. And no adhesive in this world will match up to water. Water is the holy grail that will dissolve all adhesive. So stay on top of soft free liners. I hate it destroys me, it bothers me, it irks me. It's been four and something years now and people are like, Heather, I don't know what to do. Do you watch my channel? Do you? Soft reliners. You need them. Now people ask me, Heather, why don't you like hard reliners? I mean, if you have Medicaid and you have to get your permanent denture too early and you're getting it like three months into your journey and I would say at a year do a hard reline. Now you want to make sure your dentist knows how to do them right because it's permanent. It's acrylic. So that's easily messed up and they can't take it out. That's why I don't like hard reliners because there's a lot of dentists who mess them up. I have tons of pictures <laughs> of people showing me and I'm like, good God. But I hope the dental world, when they go to school and do all that, there's more awareness for dentures. There's more awareness for denture wearers because I feel like we're just stuck in the weeds and people are just leaving us there to just tumble away. I'm like, bruh, out of all this technology, we're in 2023, you still haven't came up with the greatest shit on earth? Like self-cleaning dentures. <laughs> like, that would be amazing. But that's never going to happen, so whatever. But DentureFit is, I swear on everything I love, I would not have the best journey I have now without DentureFit. That is a fact. Hand to God, I'm not sponsored, nothing. They are the best. But you guys have to understand, if you have a warranty, you're not able to do your own work. 85% of dentists will deny you to do your own work because you signed a paper stating that your warranty, you will not do your own work. You will only get your stuff done by your dentist, and that sucks. The only reason why I like warranties is if you break them so half they just flash your mouth when you sneeze or something happens. <laughs> Been there. Um, not going with they don't break. Uh, you guys, I'm sure some of you have seen that video where I dropped my denture, and you could just immediately see the fear in my face. Thank God it didn't break. That's why I put a washcloth down, guys. <laughs> Hail Mary my way out of that one. But you do have to be careful. Um... And they're so picky too. There's so many of them that are like, well, if you did it yourself and it wasn't just like random or if you ate nuts when you're not supposed to or like read the fine print, guys. Read it. Because I've seen some people's warranties and I'm like, what the? That's not even a warranty. So I like not having a warranty only because I could do my own work. If I got a mouth sore, boom, do my own adjustment. Dentures loose, boom, I could do denture fit. I am in control of everything and because I've done this for so long that I've memorized, I probably do my own shit with my eyes closed. You memorize your mouth, you memorize the nooks and crannies, you memorize the fit, you memorize everything that you become the best person to do your soft reliner. And it takes time. I mean, your first try, you're not going to get it right. If you do, good job. Um, second time you might mess up though. <laughs> Relatable. Um, so in the beginning, people always get nervous about doing soft reliners. That's normal. It's new to you. But... It's really not that scary. You'll realize how quick and easy it is. And I have tons of videos to help you guys out. But I'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me. Thanks. Um, you know what? I'll pop a giveaway in here. Let's see who actually watches my videos. Um, so if you guys are want to be part of this giveaway, it is USA only because shipping is massively expensive. So it's going to be USA only. I'm going to give away products that only I use. So when you get it, it'll be surprised, but it'll be good. Um, and what I want you guys to do is just write, mm, I don't want you putting giveaway down there because then everybody's just going to do what you do and that's why. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to email me and we're going to put November giveaway just cause that's what popped into my head. So in the subject, put November giveaway 
in the comment section will be my email as always and in the description which is the hour next to the title of the video click it boom email is the first thing you're going to see so what you want to do is subject november giveaway and then in the main body paragraph paragraph how you would put your ad address on an envelope do exactly that in the email so you want to have your first and last name you know your address all of that crap put it all in there and um we'll see how many people enter what's today maybe i'll end it sunday at 11 59 p.m eastern time which is new york time um but please do not put your information down below in the comments don't do that and do not comment done or anything down below you can comment anything you want down below just don't talk about the giveaway because we're gonna see how many people actually watch it i love you guys later